Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Bay Brigade. Hope everybody's having a good late night. <laughs> I'm doing okay. Uh, just tired. Um, it's been a day. Got out and did grocery shopping with Johnny today. But um, I did something silly that I didn't realize I'd done until we were about maybe 10 or 15 minutes into the store and and then my allergy started getting worse and worse. And before I knew it, I was in a full-blown allergy attack. When we got in the van, when we got outside and got in the van, first we snapped a picture. <laughs> I was texting with Eva, and I, I snapped a, a selfie picture of me and my favorite sidekick, which is Johnny, my 24-year-old autistic son. My, he's a high-functioning autistic, so unless you really knew him, you probably wouldn't figure that out. But... um I snapped a picture of us and sent it to Eva, my bestie. And um, <laughs> and then um, noticed that my windshield was coated with pollen. Well, didn't, didn't think twice about it. I'd use my little windshield washer thingies and, and cleaned off the windshield. And then I proceeded to whirl down the windows. Not thinking that about my car being covered in pollen not thinking about my allergy to pollen and just went on about my way well about halfway to the store my eyes started itching my nose started running and um i thought maybe i'd just gotten something in my eye and as we progressed it got worse and worse and worse and by the time we got halfway through the store and we were getting personal items you know body wash and such things like that I was in a full-blown allergy attack. My eyes were all fuzzed up and itchy and runny, and my nose wouldn't wouldn't stop running. It's still kind of runny, <laughs> but it was it was full blown. It was full blown. I was miserable <laughs> through the whole rest of the shopping trip. I was miserable. Luckily, re I was able to score a riding cart because my back is already aggravated. Because our weather's been going from, from chi really chilly to mild. Really chilly to mild. And so, when you have arthritis, osteoarthritis in your back, it doesn't like you when, it happen when, when that happens. And so, I rode in the cart because my back was hurting. And um, so, uh, luckily I could do that. And so, we rode and got our groceries and... Um, we went and found some allergy medicine. They had, get this, they had this brand that I never heard of, but it said that it had the active ingredient the same as Zyrtec, and it was a dollar forty-eight a pack of fourteen. Don't you know I got three packs of that stuff? Because <laughs> I was miserable, and uh, so I I put that in my little cart. And I got some nasal spray and some eye, eye stuff to wash out my eyes. And um, mm -hmm. all the things you get when your allergies are in full-blown attack mode. And uh, yeah, I was, I was, and then I got some, some more tissues, more tissues. And uh, we got all the stuff we needed and we went over to the grocery uh, side and got all that stuff we needed and checked out and reset in the parking lot for me to take the medicine and and put the stuff in my eyes and try to recover myself before the drive home because it looked like I was looking through fuzzy lenses because I didn't want to drive home that way. But I, that's why I was putting the drops in my eyes so that I could try to clear my vision so that I could drive us home for the 15-minute drive home because um, we didn't go to the Walmart closest to us we went to a different Walmart down down the way because they usually have carts and they have a better selection of things there and there's less chance of me running into my mother at that one. So, I don't like confrontation. So, it's better to go to a place that someone doesn't frequent and less chance of confrontation. So, um... I, I like that Walmart better. They have nicer people there. Um, they have nicer things there. So it, it works out. It's a win-win. And so we went down to that one. And uh, and then I did this all the way home. 
because <laughs> I was just, I felt like this is how I was seeing, you know, it was th through, 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 through fog. I felt like that, that, you know, I was looking through fog. That's how my eyes felt is like I was, I, cause they were itchy. My eyes were like super, super itchy. It wasn't until like an hour after I got home and, and, and taking the medicine and taking a second dose of that medicine that it actually worked and my eyes got back to normal and my nose, it, even though it's still a little runny, but it's not like it was. And, you know, things got to where, you know, I was okay. Um, now my pain, my kidney stone and, and uh, the stent pain is much better today. Um, so, uh, you know, that, that part at least, even though it still hurts when I go to the bathroom, that's something I'm just gonna have to, it's just something I'm having to deal with for three weeks. Uh, that's the nature of kidney, st kidney stone stents, is that it just hurts to go pee. It does. It just hurts. It, it, I know a, a lot of y'all have, have been through this, and a lot of y'all have re have relatives that have been through this, so y'all know what I'm talking about. But it just, it just really hurts. And um, luckily, I'm kind of tough. I'm not bragging on myself. I'm just saying. But I do call, it, I do call out names when I go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I do call out names when I go. So, yeah. Small children should not linger outside the bathroom when I go. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, and I did want to show y'all my earrings. Um, I got these from uh, Tracy over at I Love, uh, I Love Loopy Crochet and Treasures. She has an Etsy shop, and I bought these from her shop. Aren't they cute? And I'll take one off and show y'all a little better. They're very reasonably priced. Very well made. But she had these on her shop. I'll show you the other two pair I bought. But I just, I just, it, these look so 80s to me. And I just love them so much. And um, I, here recently, I just wanted to wear a lot of dangly earrings. And uh, if I can get it back in there. My ears have been pierced since I was about six years old. So, luckily... I can wear just about any kind of earring. Oh, for Pete's sake. Did it? No, it didn't. <laughs> Performance anxiety. Now, this morning, when I put these on, or this afternoon, rather, because we all know I didn't get up before noon, right? Hold on. Where's my mirror? Let's not play here. There we go. Maybe. Yeah, sort of. Maybe. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Now that I played poke the tail. <laughs> well, Tracy over it. I love, um, I love loopy crochet and treasures. She has a very nice um, Etsy shop, and um, she sells very beautiful things, and um, she packages everything very beautifully. She's she's uh, out of Alabama, as if you couldn't tell by her, her her accent. Even though I think she's originally from Georgia, but she lives in Alabama. But their accents are very similar. But she has that lovely draw that I adore. I, I just love to hear her talk. I know I have a southern accent. I Trust me. I call mine the Lucy X in accent. <laughs> Since I grew up and was born and raised here in northwest Louisiana, which is right like 30 miles from the border of Texas. So I call myself a Lucy Xen since I'm so close to the border of Texas. But she includes a card. And uh, thanking me for my order. And she puts everything in these uh, origami bags. And uh, this, let's see, there's a little card in here. Let me see if I can grab that. And uh, she puts a pretty, pretty little stitch marker on there. Isn't that pretty? With a little flower. And, a, and it says, thank you. And this one has a little gnome. <laughs> I don't know if she knew that I love gnomes, but I do love gnomes. So much, but it says thank you. And I'll put that back in there. And I'll show y'all the other two pair that I got. 
because I do so love earrings. Dangly earrings with the lever backs. I don't I don't like just the little hook kind because I, I tend to lose those. So I like the ones with the lever backs. But this is the other pair. This is one of the other pair. It looks like a, a fish tail, you know, like a, a mermaid tail. I just loved, I, I, I had these favorited for a while. And then I finally just bit the bullet and went and got them. But they were only like $7. And they're very well main, made. They're not going to come apart on you. You probably get, uh, I don't know if you'd even get this good of quality if you bought them at, you know, Walmart. You probably wouldn't get this, you know, these are handmade. I mean, she puts these, you know, she buys the charms and then she puts these hand handmade together herself. And then here are the little kitty cats. Cute little kitty cats. And then the little lever back connections up there. So, I know I'm a dog person, but I still like kitty cats too. <laughs> Strangely as that sounds. You know, there's a lot of us dog people that like kitty cats too. But I will put Tracy's information in the description. So that y'all can go check her out. Please go uh, look at her shop. She's got uh, she's got jewelry. Uh, she's got um, stitch markers, of course. And she's got some necklaces in there. She, she crochets some necklaces that are pretty cool looking. And she's got some gorgeous shawls in there. She just recently marked down her shawls. And she showcased these on her channel. Uh, just uh, the d last couple of days, she showcased her shawls on her channel. Letting you know that she had them uh, marked down on, on uh, her, her in her shop. Uh, that was Axel getting on the bed. But, um, so, you know, definitely go check her out. Um, this is my second time buying from her. I always keep an eye on her shop for things that um, that may tickle my fancy that I that I can't live without, like these '80s style earrings. <laughs> they're so lightweight; you don't even know, know that they're in there, but they dangle just perfectly, just just about the same length as my hair, which I like. And um, so I really enjoy. You know, I was feeling oh so cute until that allergy attack hit me, <laughs> and then I didn't feel so cute anymore. I felt miserable. <laughs> Luckily. I rallied and I was okay. And um, so I have been doing some crochet recently. Uh, I've been working on my granny squares. I've been doing it kind of assembly line style. Like I did all of the, the pink centers. And then I went back and did the purple. And then the blue. And um, and then I'm a little over halfway with the gold. With the golds. So I got this. And then I got these to go with the gold. And then I'll do the black. So then I'll have, t once I get done with these, that I'll, I'll have 12 all together. And I hadn't decided if I'm going to go ahead and do more or if I'm just going to connect all these and then just start crocheting around them and make the, make the blanket bigger that way. I don't know yet. I thought about going ahead and making, tw uh, making nine more and having 20, you know, 21 all together and having uh, three rows of six or whatever that is in something like that having three rows of six and then uh, uh, connecting them and doing and crocheting around them that's what i was thinking let's see <sighs> that's 18 isn't it <laughs> 18 not oh, oh so that I'm, okay three rows of six so i wouldn't have to do nine more just four more right yeah something like that anyway you know what i mean <sighs> 18 all together then just three rows of six and then crochet around them and make it bigger that way. That's what I was thinking, maybe. Uh, so, uh, I hadn't quite decided what the plan is yet. I'm just going to finish the squares I got now and then lay them out and and see how I like them. Maybe make it, make it up to the, the, you know, the 18. And then, because um, I really hadn't quite thought about how many, you know, th three rows of six was until I, until right then as I was talking about it. <laughs> uh, math is not my strong suit, y'all. It's just not. Um, and what have I been up to all evening? Well, me and Johnny come home and he, after he rested from, uh, doing, uh, the groceries and putting the meat away and all that, we put together some mystery bags for y'all for, in general, anyway. 
Now, if you were in our Facebook group, um, ch general chat, then y'all already know this. But um, we've put together, Johnny and I have went through my stash. I have de-stashed my yarn completely. Um, I mean like a huge de-stash to the tune of seven totes. Emptied seven totes. That's huge for me. But it had taken over the house. <laughs> it had taken over the house. So there was yarn in here. There was yarn in the dining room. There was yarn in the living room. And this little bathroom over here was full of totes. No. I was not happy with that. I know a lot of people are like, Oh, I wish I had that problem. No. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't want that problem. Trust me, you don't. So... I have these huge bags. What did I do with them? I moved them somewhere. What did I do with those bags? Johnny must have moved them. Uh, oh, he moved them across the room. I have these big 19 by 24 inch bags. Um, mailer bags. That I have filled. And uh, I'm going to insert a video here. And then I'll come back and I'll talk to you about the rest of it. So I'm gonna pause here and insert a quick little clip and which you'll, you'll just see some of the bags. I have 11 already, all, all ready, you know, filled and ready to go. Uh, that'll be mystery bags. Now this is not, uh, I'll come back and finish talking to you once I insert this clip, but I'm gonna pause here, insert a clip and then come back and finish. Okay. So in the video, you can't see all the bags because I have that huge box that um, that came uh, with the dog bed in it the other day. We have four or five bags in, in there. And then there are bags all around in front of it and, and on top of it. And so we just kind of had to put them out of the way. And so um, until we, you know, got buyers for them. And then we go and then I got back because I'm a double bag everything because that's how I do uh, because... I know what they do with the mail. Um, <laughs> they don't treat things nicely in the mail. So I double bag things when I mail things. And then I take the fool out of it. So it'll be nice and secure. Um, now this yarn is um, has been stored in totes. In a smoke free home. But a pet friendly home. So if you're allergic to dogs. Then you might not want to buy from me. Uh, because I do have a black lab that sheds both my dogs shed and their hair might be float, floating around and it i mean i have had the this yarn in totes with lids with you know click on lids that you know has been secured but there's still a possibility that a stray hair could get on the yarn i don't want to promise you that it's completely hair free because then if you get it and you find a dog hair somewhere somewhere then you're gonna like no she lied there's you know so I want to be completely upfront with that, that there could be a stray dog hair somewhere. Even though I've kept all this yarn in totes and away from the dogs, it's still a possibility. But um, I've got all the yarn already bagged up in 11 bags in these huge bags. And there's only one bag that has wool in it. Uh, the rest of them are acrylic, on, uh, acrylic. So it's all acrylic except for one bag. And it's the only bag that has some wool yarn in it. So, um, you know, just keep that in mind. There's only one bag that has wool in it and it'll just be for whoever can t tolerate wool. So, um, but, uh, if you, you know, so, and it, it and I'm, a, uh, the price will include, uh, shipping for the lower 48 states. If you're outside of the lower 48, like Canada, then I will have to, you know, charge extra for shipping because, uh, that'd be expensive um and i know I've, I've shipped to canada before so i know how I, how much that cost so we can negotiate canada but that i'm not going anywhere besides canada so um we can negotiate that if you just really really have to have it from canada but um i really prefer to keep all the sales in the lower 48 because that keeps um uh, that keeps it reasonable and that makes more sense uh, it ma it makes the cost of it more more make sense because um, I'm charging seventy dollars per bag, which includes your shipping as long as you're in the lower forty eight. 
which is not bad. There's, like I said, it's a good mix of things. I just went through tote after tote and just felt filled bags. So I didn't, you know, there, I'm not, there's not going to be any preferential treatment based on whoever buys anything. I'm, ju I'm just going to pull a bag, uh, tape it up, put a label on it, and that's, that's how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to pick and choose who gets what bag. I'm just going to grab it, seal it, label it, and that's what, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to, you know, give anyone preferential treatment on based on what's in it. Um, that's just not, not what I'm going to do. So, um, whatever you get is what you get. And that's how mystery bags work. Um, but most of it is acrylic. Now, there might be some polyester in there. I do, now that I'm thinking about it, there, there could be some poly, there, there's some polyester in there. But, um, most of it is acrylic. I didn't include any cotton because this is Louisiana and it gets hot and I love my cotton. So I didn't get rid of any of my cotton. So um, there's that. But uh, mostly acrylic and it's all new yarn. Um, there might be a couple of skeins that were like used in something and then frogged out and then wrapped around the skein. There's a few of those, but not, mm, not many. Most of it is just brand new yarn that's never been used. Some of it is even still in plastic. Um, so, you know, there's that too. You'll see some of it still in plastic and never even used. Uh, just bought, showed on the channel and then put up, put up. So, um, you know, I'm not the only, uh, YouTuber to do that. So, uh, but $70, um, I take PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App. Uh, those, um, options will be in the description below as will my email. Uh, I prefer if you're going, if you're interested to email me first before you send payment. That way I know you're just emailing me first before you send payment so that I know cause, cause last time I did this, when I sold the Karen cakes, things went so fast. I mean, it, within an hour of the video releasing, everything was gone. So, I don't, I don't want that to happen to anybody. So please do not send payment first without emailing me and getting a response back from me. Email me first, wait for a response. And then once I say yes, confirmed, you know, then you send payment. Because if you try to send payment first, then, you know, I don't, I don't, I'll have to return it if, if I'm out. Because I only have 11 bags. And once they're gone, they're gone. So, uh, one, now I will go back and, uh, uh, once, once I'm sold out, I will put in the description at the very, very top in capital letters and bold letters sold out so that anyone coming and watching the video behind, you know, after everything's sold out, will will see that right away and, and won't waste their time. So as soon as I sell out, I will just come back and put in the, in the, in the description box. The first thing you see in the description box will be sold out. But if, unless you see a sold out, then I'm not sold out. I'll put it that way. But please email me first and, and, and let me confirm with you that there's a bag available. And then you tell me which, how you want to pay. If you want to pay PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo. And then I'll, and then I'll let you know what that information is, which is always in my description box anyway. Uh, all that information is always in my description box as well as my happy mail address. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, first of all, yarn was taking over my house. Second of all, Johnny's 25th birthday is coming up in May. May 27th is John's 25th birthday. And he deserves a blowout. I, I'm sure y'all would all agree. And uh, so I want to kind of put money back for that. And the van needs some things. It needs tires and some other things. And I'm, I just, you know... I'm doing it for a variety of reasons, and so I'm not just on a whim doing this. I've been thinking about this for a while, and, um, you know, main reason is yarn was taking over my house. So, um, and I'd much rather let y'all get first crack at mystery bags than do it some other kind of way. So, um, mystery bags, 11. Uh, I have 11. They're $70 each. Uh, if you do PayPal or whatever, try to do friends and family so that they don't charge us fees. So, uh, and then email me your address so that I know where I'm sending it. 
but it's 70 which includes your shipping to the lower 48 and uh, if you're in Canada then we'll talk about that because that's a whole nother ball of wax but uh, that's it for the yarn um, mystery bags that I'm selling um, and Johnny's also said he wants to uh, do a live stream for his birthday I think we've done that every year that I've had the channel we do a live stream for his birthday uh, we also, he wanted to, he wants to go out to Eva and Johnny's, the other Johnny, Eva's husband's name is Johnny, because, uh, the first time we ever went out there to visit them, they had a fish fry, and he really loves the way they fry fish. <laughs> he said they're, they're better than Catfish King, which is really saying something, because he loves Catfish King, and, um, uh, which is a local restaurant here, because cat fried catfish is Johnny's favorite meal, and, uh, so, uh, he really likes likes the way they do it out there. So he wants to have his birthday get together out there. And so that's that's one of the get togethers he wants to have. But he also wants to have a birthday get together with you all because he loves you all so much. And he enjoys his birthday, sp spending his birthday with you guys too. So uh, he told me that. And uh, which it, it, he's, he's, he really doesn't talk a lot, my Johnny. But he did specifically say that he wanted to do a birthday live stream with y'all and he wanted me to make sure that I had yarn set aside since we were de-stashing that I had yarn set aside for giveaways during his live stream his birthday live stream so I had set away four brand new packs of yarn um for I've, I've set I've set aside yarn brand new yarn that was in my stash for his birthday live May uh May 27th Whatever day of the week that happens to fall on, I don't know yet. But that's when we're doing it. <laughs> He'll be 25. And so, uh, yeah. So, we'll be doing that. I had to go and look and see what uh, time. We usually do it in the evening. But um, we'll just have to go and look and see what day of the week that is. Make sure that we're not conflicting with anyone else's live that we follow. And um, a, a schedule accordingly. But um, he requested it, so we're doing it. And, um, I'll have to get him a birthday hat or something. <laughs> you only turn 25 once. And, uh, he is a special young man. And I think you all would all agree. Um, I couldn't have got through the things that I've gotten through in this last year without him or at any, at any time. He, he's just one special young man. Both my boys are very special. And my oldest son is something to be very proud of. He's come very far in his life, and he's he's got a really good head on his shoulders. And he, you know, I'm very proud of both my boys. And um, so, looking forward to celebrating Johnny's birthday with him and sp spending it with y'all as well. So, um, I'll put all the information. Uh, I'll I'll t tag Tracy in her Etsy shop in the description, as well as the information about the mystery bags. And... Um, Hopefully y'all y'all uh, want mystery bags. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't go through my stash and bag up eleven mystery bags for nothing. Because <laughs> let me tell you that was some work. Because they're big old bags and I packed them as full as I could pack them. So because uh, I didn't I didn't want I, you know I wanted to make sure that folks got their money's worth and uh, you know I packed them tight. So. Anyway, that's about all I got for y'all tonight. I hope y'all have a wonderful night. I'm going to um, put some TV on and get to work on my granny squares and uh, relax a little bit before I crash because it's been a day and I need to uh, go see the doctor tomorrow to get my B12 shot because I'm way, way overdue from that and I think it'll make me feel a lot better. So um, y'all take care. Please remember that I love you and so does Jesus. And please adopt, don't shop. Your best friend could be waiting for you at the shelter or the rescue. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.